Howdy. I'm Stephen Parker, a partner in PwC's Governance Insights Center. Welcome to our 2024 Q1 Audit Committee newsletter. I'm excited to preview what we cover in this issue. And as in the past, there's a lot to unpack. The big news, of course, this quarter is the SEC's adoption of new climate-related disclosure rules. These highly anticipated rules will impact many companies over the coming years. So we dive into the rules, highlight the new disclosure requirements, and discuss related timing. We also provide updates on other developments around sustainability reporting, including the latest from the Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive, or CSRD, IFRS Sustainability Disclosure Standards, and developments at the U.S. state level. Now, given the current economic environment and some related trends, we revisit presentation and reporting requirements for discontinued operations. And we've also highlighted for you some recent tax developments. Outside of financial reporting matters, we share key insights put on the table at our audit committee peer exchanges held during the first quarter. This allows you to keep abreast of what other audit committee members have as top of mind. We also discuss the importance of effective communication with the external auditor and how thoughtful audit committee oversight should occur throughout the year and can help strengthen the audit process and contribute to enhanced audit quality. Finally, we round out the report with some pointers on how you can gain efficiency in your audit committee meetings by reviewing your annual meeting calendar now to confirm you've allotted time for all appropriate topics throughout the year including allowing some time for those topics that may be unexpected. You will find all of this and more in this quarter's edition of our Audit Committee newsletter. We hope you find it meaningful as this first quarter comes to its end. Remember, we're here to help. Feel free to reach out to me directly or visit our Governance Insights Center webpage at pwc.com. We hope you enjoy.